Okay, so plan A, which we'll modify quickly, but at least gets the job done, is to say, well, look, we don't really want to store that page map in a special piece of memory that we went out and bought. What we want to do is to, um, we'll just store it in main memory. I've already got lots of bits of memory. I'll just I'll take some portion of my memory and I'll just you know, make an array in memory, which is the page map. One word per page map entry. So I'll have a special register in my machine called the page table pointer, which points to the, you know, the, bot for the first element or the zeroth element of the array. Um, and then I'll add the virtual page number as an index into that array, and I'll come up with a particular memory location to look at in main memory, and I'll fetch the physical page, uh, then I'll get the page table entry, and then I can complete the translation to the actual physical address, and I can go get it from, from main memory. So I'm actually accessing main memory twice now, every time I want something from it. Well, you know, last... You know, on, on Tuesday, I was moaning about accessing e even once, and now I've gleefully just said, well, hell, I'll throw in a second access because I don't want to buy a lot of memory for my, my, uh, my page map. So let's stop here for a second. What, do we, what could we do about this? What could we do to say, well, I, you know, I sort of like the cost of this, but it's sort of too slow. So what's our strategy for dealing with something that is inexpensive but slow, but we want something that's inexpensive and fast? Yes. Use a cache. Okay, so keep that in mind. Use a cache. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little cache, it doesn't actually have to be very big, that actually is, you know, the, this, the tag and the data, the tag and the cache, is the virtual page number, and the data in the cache is the physical page number. So this cache's job is to sort of, if you're going to use a software term, memoize, to sort of remember physical to virtual page number translations for some small number of pages. You know, it might be 100, it might be 64 locations or 128. It's, they tend not to be very big. They have huge hit rates. They have hit rates in the 99 plus percent range. Okay, so they're fully associative. They, so this is a place where we do use fully associative um, mappings. And uh, so this, the, we have a special name for this cache. It's called the translation look-aside buffer. That's an IBM name, if I remember correctly. You know, we might call it a cache naively, but IBM being IBM, translation look-aside buffer, TLB. So almost all machines implement a TLB, and so that means we only have to go through this sort of more cumbersome access to the real page map only when we miss in the TLB, and that happens for some incredibly small percentage of time. And in fact, on certain classes of the Sun Microsystems processors, if you missed in here, you, you got a software page fault, and then you use software to go look on the actual, <laughs> you look in the, in the, in the page table. I think on the Intel machines, that the hardware, there's hardware that does this piece too, this, this look up in the, in the page table. So, so some or all of this is in hardware, um, and then of course if the, the, there is no mapping. So if I miss in here, I check the real page table. If I, if I don't have a valid, the resident bit is off, then I go to software and let it deal with the page fault. Okay, everybody sort of see? So these caches really are, whenever somebody comes to you, and says, oh, you know, I have something I need to do, but it's very slow, but it's convenient, I understand how it works, you know, the entire world has information I want, but, you know, getting to it is very slow, but it turns out there's only some information, I'm accessing only a small subset of that information frequently, can I make that fast? And, you know, so caches should be something that, you know, are part of your architectural repertoire, almost no matter what problem you're solving, so fast, slow, Okay, so when you see that sort of juxtaposition, you can say, I wonder if a cache would be a good idea. Cache is, of course, always a good idea. So, you know what the symbol is in diagrams? For, you know, somebody draws an a architectural diagram that has a cache in it. They, always, they, they put this, right? So that's you know, dollar sign, right? So you look at a picture of an Intel CPU and you see this dollar sign, you say, well, I know I'm paying them a lot of money, but what? <laughs> so that's just, remember, that's cache, so. I wonder if European universities use the euro sign. I don't know. 